everyone this is Kesh and I'm coming to you today with a product review the product that I will be reviewing is a foundation I don't know why I'm always reviewing foundations but I like to try new foundations to see how they work for me because for some reason in recent times I've been having difficulty finding the Revlon color stay in caramel and also when I sometimes I don't know that foundation I love it I love um the formula itself and the lasting power however I think the shades are a little bit off so you know sometimes when my skin is a little bit lighter it fits just nicely but when it's not so I've been searching for something that is not too pricey but works fine and I think I have found the one and this foundation I've been wearing it now for a month and a half and I wear it almost every single day Normally when I'm going out I'd reach for my MAC foundations and but in recent times I've been reaching for this for every single thing and everywhere I'm going. The foundation that I am I want to tell you about today is none other than the L'Oreal True Match. No it's not a new foundation and yes I am a bit late and the color that the shade that I'm in is N8. I just realized that the bottle feels really light like I think I'm almost out the shade is N8 cappuccino all right so let us talk a little bit about the foundation so I went into uh, what's the pharmacy York pharmacy and I tried a few products and I tried it but you know I wasn't sure that I wanted it so I left it and then I said you know what um, she had done half of my face and it was Sunday and I wasn't going anywhere so I think I went to the pharmacy to buy water or something and I came home and I didn't wash my face off and it stayed like matte for most of the time and she didn't set it with anything because I had not tried the powders and I still have not tried any powder that goes with this but I realized that it stayed on like for the whole day even though I was doing house chores so I decided that I would go back and get it so I went to shop fashion in Europe um and i got this bottle and i think i paid fifteen hundred dollars for it yes i paid fifteen hundred dollars for it in shop fashion in era i just went in and they had a lot of these these shades so i took up this shade the truth is this is not the shade that the girl tried on me but the shade that she tried on me was a little bit off so i decided to go with n8 when i came home i said all right i'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow when i put the foundation on and i wore it to work it's as if like everybody was like whoa your makeup looks nice today and I realized that this when it blends on it looks like skin it does not look cakey it does not look heavy does not look like you, you're wearing a lot of gunk on your face it just looks natural very natural finish I'm telling you especially if you use it by yourself or with light powder not too much powder it gives a light finish I do have some blemishes and as you can see I am mostly covered and I'm fine with the finish. I wouldn't say that it is full coverage. I would say it is more medium coverage. I hear some people saying that it is sheer coverage. I don't think this is sheer coverage because it covers most of my imperfections. So I would say medium coverage. And maybe if I was want to add another layer, maybe it could give me full coverage. But I have not tried that. But I realize that even if you put too much on your skin, it still looks nice. The one thing that I don't necessarily like about this is not that it, it doesn't come with a pump because most drugstore foundations do not come with a pump but it is very runny so it's um, the consistency is very liquidy so if you are not careful or if you don't cover it properly and it leaves to the side it may run over so it's very liquidy so if you pour it onto your hand like what I do and say you forgot to do to add your primer and you're adding your primer it will just be there running down on your hand running running down because it is so um because because the consistency is so light um one thing that i love about um this particular foundation is that it comes in so many shades and honestly I think this is the first time in my life that I've actually found a foundation that matches me perfectly whether it is 
drugstore or higher end foundations i find that this is the only foundation that i have that matches my skin perfectly it looks really nice and really natural it looks more like i've just um enhanced my beauty rather than created a new face like some foundations that i have and because of that i find that it works well for everyday use everyday purpose and what i've been doing i've been priming it with this um excuse the dirty bottle it is the rimmel london stay matte primer and when i prime my face with this and then i add this to it my foundation stays on all day and let me tell you where i work i don't work in ac no we don't have any ac and the fan that i have barely reaches me for most of the time i'm not close to the fan and my foundation stays on all day so even at the end of the day i am still wearing a full face of makeup and my makeup still looks good and i'm not sure i think it's the found the foundation has um longevity but the primer really helps to keep it matte because usually i would get oily in my forehead mostly in my forehead or uh, you'd see the foundation gone from my nose that's another thing even when i wear my mac pro longwear foundation by probably 12 o'clock or so when i sweat or whatever the foundation from my nose will be gone doesn't matter how much primer or how little primer i add to my nose the foundation from my nose will be gone but with this combination i find that my entire face stays all day um i want to try the powder in the l'oreal true match but i am yet to try so what i've been using with it um right now is another cheapie that i got in the pharmacy also and uh, it's very surprising because usually i don't um love face products from this brand but this one seems to be working just fine and it is very inexpensive so yes it i this is my new everyday foundation combination powder combination skin um combination all right so this is the black opal deluxe finishing powder and it is in dark i hope you can see that it is in the shade dark um well this can be a little bit messy but we'll talk about this in another video but this is what i have been setting the l'oreal true match foundation in and these three and that's what i'm wearing right now these three they give me a nice light finish and another thing that i love about this foundation i don't even feel like i'm wearing anything on my face nothing at all it, i don't feel like i'm wearing a mask i don't feel i don't i'm not afraid to touch my face even though it does transfer a little bit well maybe it's because i love the powder i do not get a lot of transfer from this product so i would say i think i have found my new favorite drugstore foundation it's no longer revlon color stay it is now the l'oreal true match and it has lived up to its name i had a i have a lighter shade that if sometimes when i want um to look a little bit brighter in, in um my skin to look brighter i would use this for my all, all over face and then i would use the w8 which is a lighter shade to just do the areas that you normally highlight by the way i'm not wearing any highlight today other than the bronzer that gives me the glow i'm not wearing any highlighting concealer or anything like that but normally if i want a brighter look that's what i would do and trust me it makes me look light and natural another thing that i love about this foundation is it photographs really 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 well i don't know but with this this combination i do not when i say i do not get any flashbacks it doesn't matter if i'm taking it in natural light or if i'm taking it in the dark with flash i do not get any flashbacks at all so yes i am in love with the l'oreal true match super blendable makeup and it is um it says no true color so i'm guessing that this is a new um a newer formula um and it says oil free all day wear which really is all day wear and the color is N8 Cappuccino. 
and I think I'm going to buy the pow the powder that goes with this and I'm going back to the store to buy about three of these because this product right here is and I, I you know I'm going to use my favorite favorite word it is amazing it is awesome I don't know it's the first drugstore foundation that I find that I really all right you used to hear me talk about Revlon Colossi. Well, Revlon Colossi, what I love about it is, as I said before, I work in an environment where it's very hot or it can be very hot. So the Revlon Colossi would stay on all day. But since they, they have um, revisited this formula, I realized that it also stays on all day and the color match is perfect. And it has so many colors, I'm sure that everyone or almost everyone can find a shade to match their skin so if you have not tried this yet or if you're not into makeup and you don't like feeling sticky or cakey and you may not like a full necessarily a full coverage uh, maybe a medium coverage and you're looking for something to wear every day to work that is not too pricey go ahead and check out the L'Oreal true match foundations all right that was my quick review thank you for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video like subscribe and share and don't forget to follow me on instagram and like my facebook page Mwah.